Motions were running high both inside and outside the rally, plus a few protesters were thrown out. Outside of the building, supporters and opponents clashed. Fortunately, they used only their voices to express their political opinions. Iowa Disney News reporter Walt Buteau continues our in-depth coverage from Warwick. One thing noticed outside of the tent, the difference between those who like Trump and don't like Trump is, as you would expect, sharp. This might be about as angry as it got outside the rally. <laughs> Up on Greenwood Avenue, supporters far outnumbered protesters <laughs> when the candidate pulled a surprise as he turned into the hotel parking lot. There he is. Suddenly, hundreds rushed toward Trump's motorcade. Mr. Trump, are you surprised by the crowd? But we received only waves from Trump at that point. <laughs> Among the hundreds who had passes for the rally but were turned away, no one's allowed down there. Ted Simcoe and his nine year old. She's disappointed more than you? Caroline's disappointed more than I am that she didn't get to see Trump, but um, it's nice to see this many supporters for him, actually. <laughs> Closer to the event, more political discourse. All these immigrants. This debate over the immigration issue and whether or not undocumented immigrants are taking American jobs. Nobody wants them. No, it's not that nobody wants them, it's that they'll work $7 an hour and an American will work $7 an hour. That's, 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 that's but the back and forth was limited to yelling and screaming. In Warwick, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.